This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer or printer. First, we will cycle the power off and then on again. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If the power does not shut off, you may have a paper jam. We will discuss what to do about a paper jam in the next solution. After you turn the power off, wait for 60 seconds before turning the printer back on. It is important to wait 60 seconds so the print mechanism can reset. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Try to print a printer status report. To do this, go to the Control Panel home screen. Touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup. Then Tools. Then Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints, the issue is resolved. If it does not print, please proceed to the next step. Sometimes a paper jam can cause the carriage to jam. It is important that you don't try and remove the paper jam from the front of the printer at this time. Removing the jam from the front can damage the print mechanism. Start by removing any loose paper from the input and output trays. Turn off the printer by pressing the power button. Disconnect the USB cable from the rear of the printer. Next, unplug the power cord from the printer. Locate the tab on the left side of the rear access door. Push the tab to the right side of the printer and pull the access door away from the printer to remove the rear access door. If you see any jammed paper, remove it by using both hands to grasp the paper evenly. Pull the paper straight towards the rear of the printer in order to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, carefully remove all of the torn paper from the rollers and guides. Use a flashlight to thoroughly check for and remove the torn paper from the rollers and guides. If any torn pieces remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. After removing all of the jammed paper, reattach the rear access door. Gently place the tabs on the right side of the access door into the slots on the printer and push the door forward until it snaps into place. Sometimes it is not possible to remove the paper jam from the rear of the printer. In this case, it will need to be removed from the front. Be careful when removing paper jams from the front. It can damage the print mechanism. Open the cartridge access door. If you see any paper jammed in the printer, remove it from the top of the printer. Use a flashlight to check for any torn paper in the rollers or guides. Make sure to remove all torn paper from the printer or more jams may occur. Plug the power cord back into the rear of the printer. Next, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try to print a printer status report. To do this, go to the Control Panel home screen. Touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup, then Tools, then Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints, the issue is resolved. If it doesn't print, please proceed to the next step. Solution 3 is to make sure that the carriage can move freely. Turn the printer on. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Press down firmly on the carriage latch handle to close it completely. While the printer is on, disconnect the power cord from the rear of the printer. Then unplug the power cord from the power source or electrical outlet. You must unplug the power cord to move the carriage by hand and reset the paper feed mechanism without the risk of electric shock. Use a flashlight to check for any paper or objects that might be restricting the carriage. Make sure to remove all of the obstructions. If any paper or objects remain, more paper jams may occur. After removing all of the obstructions, 
manually slide the carriage all the way to the left, then right, making sure the carriage can move freely. Close the cartridge access door. Reconnect the power cord to the rear of the printer. Plug the power cord into a power source or electrical outlet. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try to print a printer status report. To do this, go to the control panel home screen. Touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup, then Tools, then Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints, the issue is resolved. If it doesn't print, please proceed to the next step. Sometimes improper installation of the ink cartridges or printhead assembly can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we will fix this. The power must be on for the following steps to work. If the printer is off, press the power button to turn on the printer. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage may try to move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. Locate the tab on each ink cartridge. Press the tab inward to unlatch the cartridge. You can now remove the ink cartridge from its slot. Be careful when handling the ink cartridges. Do not touch the electrical contacts or ink nozzles. This can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Once the cartridges are removed, you can lift the handle on the carriage. Lift the print head assembly out of the printer. Make sure that you do not leave the print head assembly or the cartridges out of the printer for longer than five minutes. Leaving them out for an extended period of time can dry up the ink ports on the cartridges or nozzles on the print head assembly. Check for obstructions under or around the carriage. If any obstructions are found, remove them from the printer. Once all of the obstructions are removed, you can reinstall the print head assembly. Hold the print head assembly upright with the color-coded icons on the top and lower it into the carriage. Carefully lower the latch handle on the carriage, making sure it is fully closed. The next step is to reinstall each ink cartridge. Slide each cartridge into its empty slot until it clicks into place. Make sure each cartridge is in the slot with its matching color-shaped icon. Close the cartridge access door. Try to print a printer status report. To do this, go to the control panel home screen. Touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup, then Tools, then Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints, the issue is resolved. If it doesn't print, please proceed to the next step. Power strips or surge suppressors might not always allow enough voltage to the printer. The result can cause a carriage jam error. So the next solution will be to plug the all-in-one directly into a wall outlet. Disconnect the power cord from the rear of the printer. Then remove the power cord from any power strip or surge protector. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Turn the printer on by pressing the power button. Try to print a printer status report. To do this, go to the control panel home screen. Touch the right arrow to view more options. Touch Setup, then Tools, then Printer Status Report. If the printer status report prints, the issue is resolved. If it doesn't print, please proceed to the next step. Sometimes resetting the printer will solve the issue. To reset the printer, press the power button to turn on the printer. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the rear of the printer. Then remove the power cord from the electrical outlet. Wait 30 seconds and then reconnect the power cord back into the electrical outlet. Next, reconnect the power cord into the rear of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try to print a printer status report. If the printer status report prints, the issue is resolved. 
If you have completed all of the steps in this video and you still have printer issues, contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your support options may vary depending on how long you've owned your printer and what country you live in.